So here we go. We're going to do one more practice. So this is in the year 2020. Rwanda has a population of 12,712,431 with a crude death rate of 27.9, crude death rate of 6.1, and a net migration rate of negative 3.3, and a land area of 26,338 kilometers squared. What is the percent growth rate of Rwanda? Since it doesn't say natural, I have to factor in the net migration rate. So you remember it's crude birth minus crude death plus net migration rate. All of that over 10 gives you the percent change. The crude birth is 27.9 minus crude death 6.1 plus a net migration rate. Notice since my net migration rate is negative, I add a negative number. That's totally fine. So I end up subtracting over 10. So I'm going to have 27.9 minus 6.1 plus a negative 3.3. And I get 18.5 over 10 divided by 10 gives me 1.85%. That's the population growth rate of Rwanda. So the next question is, in what year will the population double? I have to use the rule of 70. So 70 over the percent gives me the doubling time. 70 over 1.85 gives me the doubling time. So 70 divided by 1.85 gives me 37.8 years. 37.8 years for it to double. So I'm going to say about 38 years. So what will the population be? Well, the population was about 12 million, so it was 12,712,431. When it doubles, I'm just going to use my calculator for that, 12,712,431 times 2. When it doubles, it's going to be 25,424,862, okay? And that's 30 years from 2020. So 2020, I'm sorry, 38 years from 2020. So I add that up. And so in the year 2058, the population of Rwanda, if it continues growing at its current rate, will be 25,424,862. Obviously, you could, we can do some rounding and things, but again, we have the specific numbers, so we're just gonna use them. The next question then says, continuing with this idea of doubling, when, in what year will the country quadruple? Or what year will the population quadruple? So quadrupling, it's going to go up four times. So remember doubling time, it doubles once from 12 million to this uh, 25 million. Then if I double it again, so times two, I'm going to go to 50 million, eight, four, nine, seven, two, four. Okay, that's right there on my calculator. So, and this is a quadruple, it doubles and doubles again. So times two times two, which is a quadruple times four. So this is what the population will be when it quadruples. When will that happen? This was the year 2020. So I add my 38 years and this is the year 2058. If I add 38 years again, so I take 2058 and I add 38 years more, I get 2096. So in the year 2096, the population will be this, a little bit over 50 million people, 50,849,724. Again, assuming things aren't changing, which they always are, but this is a way to estimate. Next question then says, what will the population of Rwanda be in 2021? This is just a percent problem. So percent over 100 equals part over total. Since I know it's growing at a percentage rate of 1.85, I can now use that as the percent over 100. And how much will it grow when the population is this 12,712,431? When I cross multiply and solve here, so I'll show you right here, 1.85 times 12,712,431 total population, divide by 100, and it's going to grow by 235,000, I'm going to round this to 180, that 9 rounds up, so that makes it an 80, 
I'm going to add this to the 12 million, 7, 12, 4, 31, 12 million, 7, 1, 2, 4, 3, 1. And I get in one year, the population will go to 12 million, 9, 4, 7, 6, 1, 1. So that's what the population will be. It goes up when I solve the percent. This is what it it goes up by. I have to add it to the actual population and then I get the total population. Last part is population density. You gotta know the definition of population density is the amount of people in an area. So in this case, my people is my population, 12 million, 7, 12, 4, 31 over this area, 26,338 kilometers squared. So I'm gonna divide that out. So 12 million, 712431 divided by 26,338, and I get 482.6, so I'll say 483 people per square kilometer is my population density, the number of people per unit area. So what do you have to know for each of these problems? Again, we go back to this idea of percent here for population growth because it's growing at a percentage rate. Population density, just know the definition is people per area. Got to understand this idea of doubling time and the rule of 70 here and then how to use that. And then this idea of crude birth, crude death rate, net migration rate to find population um, growth in percent. So there's a lot of some equations to know, but understanding how they all connect. Hope this was helpful.